Who wants a new series where we explore some new black metal bands and try and find some gems, some diamonds in the rough? I know I do, and that's what we're going to be doing because I do whatever the fuck I want on this channel because it's Questy's channel, so stick it up your ass. But hopefully you join me in this ass-sticking uh, new series and we can find some new bands together. Let me know down in the comments for next episode some bands I may have missed in the past year, uh, bands I may have missed in the last couple of months, and we'll listen to it together on the stream. So I'm going to use a couple of things here. Uh, Black Metal Promotions, one of them. Bandcamp's another, and also Spotify. So, without further ado, the first one I see, Sister Vein at Light's Demise. I've not seen it. Came out 17 hours ago. Looks fucking cool. Let's check it out. Let's turn it off. Oh, from the UK. Long songs as well. I'm not going to listen to full albums or full songs. I'm just going to skip through just to get a feeling of the album. And I'll listen to it properly later on. I mean, so far it's pretty good. Pretty atmospheric. And look at that. My two favourite genres mixed together. Black and Doom. The vocals remind me of Agalog. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good already. You got those doom vocals coming in. Oh, I like this already. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll stop it for a second because we're not going to listen. We got to try and, you know, on this series, I want to try and find. Loads of bands, uh, and then after that we can listen to it in our own time. Uh, but so far, this sounds fucking fantastic. Let's skip to another song. Uh, the Epitaph. Let's skip halfway through. Let's have a look. Oh, some melancholy going on. You got some acoustic shit. Very Swallow the Sun-esque. Yeah, this is this is beautiful. This album saves the whole UK. <laughs> oh yeah. Nice slow doomy song right there. I love it. So far this album's shaping up to be a really fantastic one. Um Let's skip Bleak House. That sounds <laughs> very bleak. The Blind Observer. Let's go. Oh.
Ooh. Okay, I can't spend the whole episode on this one fucking album, but this album's sick, and I'm going to be listening to it in full after this video, because this is my kind of metal. Uh, the only thing I will say I don't like is this this skeleton dude. Um, take him away, and this is a great album cover, but he's just shooting some smoke at the water. <laughs> Aside from that, love it. That was some good stuff. I only noticed that Limbonic Art has a new song coming out, and I was like, holy shit, I only watched like two seconds of it. But that's going to be good. Um, what else can we check out that I haven't checked out? There's a lot. Um, New Obsidian Sun, uh, which is... I forgot her name. She's from Asagram, the main singer. Um, she Is it just Obsidian? Is, it, is that the name? I've forgotten the name. But that's a great EP. Loved it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Any any full, full ones here we can check out? Or should I skip? What the fuck is... Pale Freud Lapel? Is this out this year? Yeah, France. Oh, France album. This should be good. Let's try. Love the album cover. I love the French scream. Oh, this is great already. I love this logo. It's fucking amazing. Oh. What's going on now? Some choir. Viva la France! Ho ho! This is sick. This is great already. How did I miss this? This was eight days ago, which is fucking March. Wait, very March, April. Yeah, March. <laughs> this would have been my end of the year list. Okay, a bit more melancholic on the second song. Didn't expect this from the first song. So there's a lot of spoken word. Building. This is great. Well, let's try the title track. Okay, it's got a nice rhythm to it. It's 
So we're gonna go calm again. Sounds like it's gonna go crazy. Ooh. Some creepy shit going on. Yeah, a lot more darker. Yeah. Yeah, so far. This album. Pretty sick. So that's another band and another album. Definitely needs to check out. Because that was pretty goddamn good. Uh, let's jump over to Spotify because I got this thing. New black metal albums. It gives you new ones of the, um, the month when it comes out. Or the week, sorry. When it comes out. We already know Vorga. We know Mutilation. Heard them both. I haven't heard some of the others. And some of the ones that are piquing my interest. Firstly, this one because the album cover looks sick. So let's check it out. It's called Journey Through Blue Nothingness by Darkstra. Darkstra. Oh, it's a two minute intro. So let's go to the next song. By Osmos Productions. Has an epic feel to it. All the songs are long. Eight minutes, nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Holy shit, they have loads of albums. Mother of God. Uh, I want to skip to the vocals. What is this? DSBM? Oh, this is sick. It's like DSBM vocals on top of a epic black metal. And I don't mean that in the sense of summoning Callan and Brute, I mean that in the sense of it sounds epic. You know? Grandiose. Okay. I think I got the feel of Kokoi. <laughs> Let's try Nomad. Skip. That throat. Ah. Certainly got a nice rhythm to it. It's those vocals. You don't hear that very often. Unless it's DSPM. It's very unique. Oh, it's a quest for the soul. Well, I got I got play Quest for the Soul. That blasts off straight away. Una Aurora.
There's a lot of albums. A lot of albums to check out. Okay, this sounds sick. Alright, we've given that enough love. Um, that was Darker Stra. Probably fucked that up, but let's try Cantique Le Preau, which sounds French as well, so it should be good. And look at that album cover. Oof. Look at that. Ah, oh, I'm in love with the album cover. I love it. Cantique Le Preu. So this has got to be some atmospheric. Right? Or post. I came out of fucking nowhere. Okay. I was getting apprehensive at first, but now picked up. Okay, let's try let's try the last song. From the first song to the last song. Very Wolves in the Throne Room esque. I wonder why the fuck my library has Gojira in them. I haven't heard them in years. It's a Graveland Maiden Katatonia Go. It's such a weird mix there. Okay. No, that's pretty good. Uh, that was pretty good. Let's try. Let's try a different site, shall we? Let's try uh, Bandcamp. Hey, look, it's Dodd Strip. I have heard that album twice. I thought it was pretty good. People are saying it's the album of the year. I need to re-listen to it again, because I heard it twice and I was like, it's pretty good. It's black metal, it's pretty good. But, uh, I don't know. It didn't grab me yet. But will I more listens, and it probably will, because that album cover, fucking sick. That was great. Um, I don't know what the fuck that is, but... It's a guy on skis and he's got a hatchet. We gotta to listen to it. Fuck me, why is that so loud? Jesus Christ, Bandcamp, calm it fucking down. This band is Cole Pit Tooley. One man black metal. It's still so fucking loud in my ears. There we go. This is like a mix of Ensiferum and hopefully Moonsora. Let's see. Which are both Finnish.
This is great. Look at that album cover though. Fucking sick. Look at that. Yep. It's pretty good. There's only two singles out. Ooh. Yes. I don't need loads of singles out for that, because I know that's fucking fire. Because that was fucking sick. And I'll definitely listen to that when it comes out. Great shit. What the hell is that? Zomp Patali beating the drums of ancestral force. Sick. This isn't black metal. <laughs> yeah, twenty bucks spin. Fucking good. Sorry, we're having a little death metal. Holy shit. Yeah, anyways, stop that shit. Uh, we want black metal. We want black. I, I typed in black metal, that came up. This is gonna be fucking death metal as well, isn't it? Let's get. Yes, yes, it is. We are not interested in death metal yet. We can do another episode for that. That looks black metal. Wolfahara. Hey, Mordant Red. Um, let's check out Wolfahara first. Look at that sick ass album cover. Oof. Indubio Pro Misanthropia. Oh, sexy. Skip. Oh. German, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, German Black Metal. Yeah, this is good. Okay, another one that's fantastic. Uh, so let's check out Modern Reds. I haven't actually heard it. Touch the skeleton in the forest. He's a cool YouTube channel though. It's got that same raw energy is like early Baffery, early Slayer Venom It has like rhythmic trance to it. It definitely has that old school vibe, which I like. Not a lot of bands do that. They want it to be too polished and shit. 
I like both sides, but yeah, this is good, refreshing. Yes, that's good. That's fucking good. Yeah, there's too many bands. Too many, too many bands. Not enough time. Uh, that is it for this episode. I don't even know what I'm going to call this series. Like, um, I don't know black metal journey, black metal discovery. No, that's just stealing off fucking other people. Black metal up your ass metal. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out on the fly. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. And next. I mean, we can make it a little series uh, each week or, you know, whenever I can be bothered. We'll do it and we'll listen to some new bands, get some new recommendations and get some new fucking black metal. Sound good? Yeah. So hopefully you had some fun. I'll pop the names of them all in the description so you can check them out at your leisure. We'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.